Hey everybody, it's Dr. Josh Levitt here at the office and I've noticed that in the last few days and even weeks, there's been a theme, sort of a recurrent story that's been coming up over and over again in my conversations with my patients. And it's a story about boundaries. I thought I'd share it with you here today. Let's start off. Have you ever heard the term good fences make good neighbors? You ever think about that? Put a fence around your yard and you can enjoy the freedom and flexibility that comes with knowing where your limit is. It's really interesting, boundaries. Humans tend to resist them, right? We don't like curfews. We don't like feeling penned in. We like the idea of freedom. And yet we know that when we put a limit, when we put limits around our behavior or around our backyard in the form of a fence, that we can actually thrive even better and safer within those limits. I think sometimes about art or music, right? Art, even the most uh, artistic boundaryless paintings by Jackson Pollock have a frame, have a, have a finish point. They have a limit. They have a boundary. Music, poetry, you know, they all have a structure like iambic pentameter or, or haiku or verse, chorus, verse, verse, chorus. There's a structure there that provides some limit or some boundary around something like art even that seems so boundaryless. So what I propose to a lot of patients is that it's really healthy to set some limits and set some boundaries on yourself. I'm gonna offer you a few. One of my favorites with respect to the diet is a boundary and a limit around certain food items. And those two food items that I think you should limit are number one, partially hydrogenated oils. These are, these are known as trans fats. And I think you should set your limit at zero. Those things should not be consumed. I consider them poison. Do not eat anything that says partially hydrogenated oil of any kind. That limit should be zero. The other, high fructose corn syrup, another dietary limit that should be zero. You should not consume anything that says high fructose corn syrup on the label. Again, another really healthy limit. Another example of a limit, and there are so many, is to set a good bedtime or to set a positive limit, something like I'm going to walk or I'm going to exercise for 30 minutes a day. So think about limits and think about limits not being so limiting. Boundaries can be fences within which we can flourish. So think about that one and take good care.